well, you know what they say, go big or go home. And since I'm already at the crib, I guess it's time to go big. Okay, people, as you saw, I have several Wally World Marvel comic packs to open up. Right now, I'll open up seven of them. I have several of these that have just been sitting around since the beginning of the month. That's been backed up with several other videos I still haven't recorded yet. Tons of other stuff to show off and some convention videos to get to before uh, a couple of shows come up, including one that I'm going to see to you too. But I was trying to figure out like, okay, I need to get some of these comic packs opened up so I can see what the hell's in them. Just for the hell of it and to get these videos out there. So I'm gonna do probably the biggest, I don't know if I've ever opened up this many on, in one video before, I'm not sure. I usually do three or four maybe, maybe five, I don't know. But we're gonna go with seven of them. And it's not even all, these are just the latest ones I picked up. The other ones I picked up first, I still haven't opened those yet. That just shows you how behind I am on some of this stuff. So we have, the Moon Knight one, Moon Knight number three, the red cover, Shang-Chi, Death of Doctor Strange. You'll see these again anyway, I just want to run through them real time. Toxin, one time for the one time. Dark Ages, Alien, and War of the Bounty Hunters, Boosh. I don't know how to pronounce that. One of you Star Wars fans will let me know in the comments below. But well, let's jump right in. We're actually gonna start from the back because I'm gonna save the Moon Knight one for last. I'm gonna go in reverse order. So, let's see what you got. Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters, number one. David Baldi on this. Let's see what we got. My trusty Adamantium Blade. Can't make good cuts in here at all. This. I just usually have to do it at an angle just to kind of slice this up. I should have did that beforehand. <clears throat> but yeah, again, just <laughs> tons of these and I always, like I had several sitting and then all of a sudden I come across a new seven pack. Oh, let's do a face off. And then I had two seven packs and then I'm thinking, oh, let's do a face off between those two since it's more evened up. So then I just end up with tons of these. All right. So first up, better look at this. Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters, number one, Bo or Boosh, number one, Bosh, Bosh, whatever, Bound. Whatever that is, and then we have Captain Marvel 32, The Last of the Marvels, part one. Part one. What is that? Um, is that about Coelho? Looks like it says Coelho on the tag there. I don't know. And then, <gasps> perfect! I don't have this. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Wolverine, Black, White, and Blood, number one. I don't have number one, I have two, three, and four. This is fucking excellent. I don't have this book. I need this book. That is perfect. I Seriously, I need this book because I had two, three, four. And I didn't have one and I was about to order it. Oh, man, that's great. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Walmart coming through in the clutch. I'm seriously about to add that to my next. Or try to look. I got to look it up. I don't even know what what mark my comic shop.com has it for imagine it's still probably cover price or whatever but and i haven't seen it anywhere else number one i guess i haven't been to too many comic shops lately but that's a great pull right there it's perfect because i needed that and then here we have alien number seven this actually hasn't been uh it has been a solid series i read the first two or three issues so far and it was a lot better kind of just going in because i'm a fan of the franchise but at least the movie franchise, so huh. I don't know if I was wearing this cover, but yeah, so I have to see. I don't even think I have four or five, I might have somewhere between four or five and six. I have to double check. We have Alien, and let's see, we'll do it like this. And then we have Conan Serpent. What the hell is Moon Knight there? What Conan Serpent War number four? Not a Conan fan, so. There's that. But we got appearance from Moon Knight. Interesting. Huh. And then Kazar, Lord of the Savage Land, number one. Kazar, Kazar. I just pronounced it Kazar. I don't, how, I don't even know how it is pronounced. Ramon Garcia. Huh. Two savages, Kazar and Conan. All right, so we got that. And then next up, we're gonna do Dark Ages. 
I didn't even have much knowledge of this. I think I looked it up when I first picked some of these up just to see what the hell it was about. Or maybe when I saw them at the store, I'm like, what the hell is Dark Ages about? And then I ended up just saying, screw it. I'm just going to grab each of the new packs that I saw, which I think was nine of them. But we got another Romlin cover here. He's doing, getting a lot of work lately. But there's a full shot of that. If you've been reading Dark Ages, let me know what you think of it and what the hell. As far as I know, it's just basically the Marvel heroes just wait. Oh, well, maybe it isn't. Do they go back in the past? I don't know what's going on. I guess we'll figure it out. But yeah, if you've been reading this, let me know your thoughts. So we got that. And another Conan book. Conan the Barbarian Exodus number one. Conan. An all new saga from visionary creator Asad Ribic. Second printing, which whatever. But cool uh, kind of grayscale cover there. And then we have Avengers 48, Warlord She Hulk. Smash, smash, part three. That's okay, I already have that book, that issue anyway. And then we we'll jump over to Extreme Carnage Toxin. This is a book I did not have, so already going in. Uh, adding a book that I needed. Wanted, I guess you could say. Extreme Carnage Toxin. I used to have the Toxin mini series, but then I ended up selling it at some point. I sold a bunch of stuff way back then. I probably should have kept. Toxin was probably amongst those, but there's full shot of that. Is that in your glee, I think so? Where? I feel like it is. I don't see his tag on here anymore. This is hidden somewhere. I feel like that's him. But there's that. And then we have, what is this? Hot Shots number one. It's the second printing. I don't know what this is. We got Gail Simone, David Ballian, Jim Charalampadis. But we got Black Widow, Domino. Black Widow, White Fox, Atlas Bear. Who the hell is that? Diamondback, Outlaw, and Domino. What? This is like some crazy team up book, but I'm interested and I will be giving that a read. And then, oh my goodness, my first Heroes Reborn book. Heroes Reborn number four, the variant edition. Uh, Hyperion, I was about to say, what the hell is his name again? Mike Fox? I don't know who that is. Yeah, so my first uh, foray into the reborn rebirth of heroes reborn so we'll see how that goes if I, well it is number four i might just read it for the hell of it and then we have death of dr strange number one dr strange oh no he's dying dr strange he just had a couple series that were just ended like one i think it ended up like eight issues soon like really abrupt i could be wrong on the issue count i don't know but I was thinking, you know, I was interested, but I wasn't gonna, wasn't sure if I was gonna pick it up. And then when I saw it on the three packs, figured, oh, that's perfect. Great way to grab into that. Oh, I did see this on someone else's video and I don't even know, I'm not even sure if I knew it existed, but this looks like, yes it is. X Factor number 87, the uh, facsimile edition. And this is cool as hell. I like X Factor. I've been working on X Factor Run, and I don't know if I have this facsimile edition. I have to double check. I know. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I do have the standard. What the fuck is that written in Stimpy? Why does it open up like that? Looks like. Yeah. Why is it open up? Oh my goodness. Ryan and Stimpy. Sweet goodness. Uh, but I don't know. Pretty sure I do have the uh actual issue, the original issue of this one, but. I wonder why they, was this, this wasn't the, what was part, I don't know. Anyways, uh, Daredevil number 34. That wasn't that long ago. That was really recent. That's a nice cover, I do have that already. It was a cool stained glass cover. My man Bullseye there, two packs left. We got Shang-Chi number four. Uh, let's see what we got, oops. Not that good anymore. And I just, discovered how to pronounce his name. I never never heard it before. I think I talked about that in the older video. Uh that it was Shang Chi and I think just like a good chunk of the community always believed it was Shang Chi. 
I had no reason to think otherwise. Just never had much exposure to being to having it pronounced anywhere. But Linnea Francis Yu, Shang Chi number four with the Fantastic Four on there. It's cool. It's a nice cover. Oh, look at that! Another X Factor eighty seven facsimile edition and Revenge of the Cosmic Ghost Rider number one variant. I don't know if I have any Cosmic Ghost Rider books. I don't know anything about Cosmic Ghost Rider. Is that this one as Punisher? Wait, where are we at? Yep, Frank Castle. Dennis Hopeless, Scott Hepburn, Antonio Fabella. Gladiator! My man Gladiator making an appearance, representing for the Imperial Guard. I dig it. I honestly I have the Shi'ar there. Cosmic Ghost Rider. Ooh, Frank Castle has done a whole lot in the world of comics. All right, last pack. We got another Moon Knight number three. What does it say? Beware the rise of the Hunter's Moon. Oh my goodness. Gotta get a box cutter. Probably a little bit easier than this. Not so great blade. Ha. Last pack for this video. And again, I have... I have several coming, so I don't even know what order I'll do these, drop these in. But just wanted to finally get to these. Just been so behind on doing other stuff. Just reading and dropping some other videos. And having more, not just comic call videos, but then they get comics in, gotta shut them off. And I have some more discussion videos, as I uh, did with the, what was it, the quantity versus quality, and some convention stuff coming up, as I talked about. But again, there's Moon Knights, another comic book. I want to know about Barrier number 21. What deadly secrets, what does this emerge in the land of the Lotus? Don't care about Conan at all. I think I did read, did I pick up Savage Avengers number one? I think I picked it up at a sale just for the hell of it. Figured why the hell not? Oh, that's cool. So we got Fantu, did this cover? Oh wait, oh it's uh, Rivera, what's Rivera's name? God damn it. Uh, Paolo Rivera, Paolo Rivera. Fantastic Four Life Story, the 60s, the so number one, the 60s. So that's cool. I didn't read any of the Spider-Man Life Story stuff, but uh, if I come across them, I'll probably, maybe I'll pick them up if I see them cheap or get to trade or something. But this is nice. I like that there, the blue and white. So yeah, there is everything I picked up in this set of books. A couple, only what, two duplicates? The Fantastic, or Fantastic Four, the X-Factor book, uh, that facsimile edition and several <laughs> Conan's, more Conan books than I've ever picked up or ever even come across. So other than that, and not even too many duplicates that I already own. Avengers, Captain Marvel. I think that Wolverine is definitely one of the better pulls because that was a book I absolutely needed. Cool cover. Uh, what else is in here? I forgot already. But yeah, uh, solid pulls overall. But X Factor book, again, I don't have that. The cover books of Doctor Strange and Shang-Chi. Didn't have those. Take like another Moon Knight number three. The red variant there. So that's cool. So yeah, there's everything there from those, what was that, seven packs, I think? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, as we kind of get to December, I wonder if there, I imagine there's gonna be even more packs popping up. We'll see. I think when I pick, when I started picking up the new rounds for November, it was right at the beginning of the month and I just happened to catch them first, I think. So that was good timing. So I'll definitely be on the lookout for December's books. We'll see, I don't even know when, it might even be December before you even see this video. Who knows? I have no idea what's going on. So many, so many videos to upload and I might try to squeeze in a couple extra ones on Fridays just to get some bonus videos to kind of uh, speed that up. So yeah, again, as always, they're always just fun to open up, get some cool books in there, see the kind of mystery is without being too expensive. Uh, at least individually, but then if you start picking them up, picking up a bunch of it, then it starts to add up. But that's just the game of that. Again, it's all just fun. It's the world of comics. Let's do it. Have some fun and uh, sharing that. So happy hunting, happy reading, happy reading, happy hunting, happy collecting. This is Geno's Comics. Thanks for watching and peace out.